Hi guys, have you also seen an error code called ER211 on your display on your Suron bike? Well, if you have, then you have some problems with the throttle. And uh, the reason could be two things, uh, either the cable is broken somewhere along the line or the hole sensor inside the throttle handle is broken. In my case it was the hole sensor and that was due to a faulty harness uh, to a BAC 4000 controller. Uh, somehow the pins were set up wrong so we drew current, drew current from uh, the handle and uh, that somehow fried the hole sensor inside it. And uh, the hole sensor actually is pretty easy to <coughs> change if you have some soldering equipment and you have some patience. So I'm going to show you exactly what it looks inside and how to change that. And also I'm going to give you the component identification number so you can order that. I ordered mine from Amazon. It's, uh, it's a very cheap component, so uh, instead of buying a whole new handle with new cables, uh, you can do some measuring and see if you have the output current correct on the throttle handle <coughs> before you do anything else. And I'm also going to show you that, uh, how you do that. And uh, well, let's go. <coughs> what you can do is you can follow the cable from the handle and uh, <coughs> you can check it all, all the way down. And I'm also going to show you down here where you have the connector and down here you have the cables from the handle and you also have those cables that goes to the original controller. And uh, I'm going to show you a picture exactly, exactly how we're going to measure the current from here. You need to have the bike set to uh, the on mode, the key turn on, and uh, you should have about 5 volts between the red cable and the black cable. And uh, depending on how you <coughs> twist the throttle, you should have something between uh, point, 0 0.8 volts and uh, 3 something volts. Uh, uh, at the full throttle. If you don't have any current at all on the outgoing side, then it's probably the hole sensor inside the handle that's broken. And uh, it's very easy to change that if you have some equipment. You loosen these two bolts, slide the handle off, and inside of this, you can split this, you just get this zip tie, and cut it off, and inside of that handle, uh, you have a Phillips head screw, uh, loosen that also. And then you have the half that is connected to the cable, you just take that off. Uh, there is a spring that is set with some tension, so you want to make sure that you get that exactly the same way when you set it back. So uh, be sure to look at uh, exactly how it's set and what groove it's uh, uh, supposed to be in and uh, I have done this already on this handle so I'm not going to split it open again and do some soldering so I'm just going to show you some pictures how it look and uh, I'm pretty sure you can solve it by yourself so okay let's go and check some pictures okay here you can see the spring um, sorry I'm going to put that down here and I'm going to project it on the wall instead so you can see better. So here you have the spring. It's uh, turned around so you can actually see the small groove up here that is uh, it's set so it has some tension. And uh, this one is the hole sensor so what you have going to have to do is Open it up and uh, you're going to clear some of the sealant there. Uh, it's a groove inside the handle so it's uh, almost impossible to set that wrong. And uh, what you do is you make sure you have the rounded side uh, set against the center of the handle. So it's just going to be pushed down like this just right down and push it all the way to the bottom 
and then you just flip out the three legs so you can solder it back so when it's all the way down it's going to look like this and uh, be sure to have those colors uh, the brown black and the blue one set to the right side so once you have done that you can put it back together fold it down and push it down through those grooves you see the three ones here and then you can just be sure to put some silicone or something in there so uh, it's almost impossible as long as you solder back the cables at the right legs on the hole sensor it should be impossible to get it wrong and uh, once you have done that just let it dry put uh, some new shrink wrap or something around the cable and you're set to go so you can put it all back together and as i said be very sure that you have the spring with some tension because uh, if you don't uh, the handle is not going to work so uh, instead of buying a new handle um, I think it's uh, much easier to do this operation uh, the component is very cheap as I said you can get it from Amazon or some other electronic dealer uh, usually they come in the packs of 10 it's uh, I haven't found anyone that is willing to sell just one but uh, I think it's about 10 bucks for a, a set of 10 hole sensors so uh, it's very cheap compared to buying a new handle so I think that's a very easy way to solve this um, it's not that common that you get uh, that error uh, unless you strip the cable or something I mean you, you can uh, if you drive your bike in the woods I'm sure you can uh, get hooked on some uh, branches or something and rip the cable but that's that's one thing you're going to notice and uh, if not then it might be something else broken on the bike might be something else in the harness or even the controller but I think uh, the first step is to test test the current uh, on the handle and see if that solves the problem so hopefully this can save somebody some money and uh, in my case when it uh, was due to a broken harness it uh, yeah it made it a lot easier to just do this instead of buying a whole new handle delivery time here in sweden on par on parts is just dreadful so uh, it's a couple of months just to get a new handle so take care hope to hope you have some uh, useful information from this and uh, see you next time